and welcome to Ubuntu and Open Source. Take a look at the desktop today. Uh, Ubuntu 16.04 with a Unity look and feel. The first thing I did was follow the instructions on this website. The links will be provided in the notes. But it has the Ambience and Radiance theme for XFCE and LXDE. Now it does say since September 2015 they officially discontinued this theme. I still ran these instructions right here in my terminal and it worked. Next thing I had to do after I ran the instructions I had to change my docky. Now that's all you do is click on docky and you get docky settings. What I changed it to was for one, you can drag docky around. You can drag it to the bottom, you can drag it to the right, bottom, left. I put mine on the left so I can get that unity look and feel. Then I changed the theme here which I had on air. I changed it to HUD. Now, I, when the docky is on the left or the right side, this is how it looks. So I changed it to panel mode. After I changed my docky, I had to change the top menu some. I went to settings. Instead of having it on the center, I put it on the right. And I changed the width from percentage. As you can see, this is what happens when it's on percentage. And you just keep on bringing it down. The thing about it, when you use percentage, it, to me, is too big of steps. So I changed it to pixel. And I could get a bigger, better accurate movement of the panel and its size and all I did was adjusted it till I felt it was just right so I adjusted the length then I changed its appearance and to do that I clicked and I picked this here so it would pick up the color from where the uh, notifications are and they gave the panel the whole color theme. This is what it would look like in the system theme. But when you do that, and you're on here, you can see there's a bit of a difference here. The color is a little bit different. So I chose to use a color, a color theme. After I changed the color theme, I changed the font color to white, which is all Fs. As you can see, now you can see it. When it's all black, you see it, it's kind of hidden there. You can't see it that well. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but that'll work. But white makes it a lo lot easier to see. After I change my font colors, uh, that's all I did for the panel. Then I changed my menu icon here. And to do that, you just right click menu settings. This is a Ubuntu icon that I got off the internet. Just search for Ubuntu logo. You'll find something you'll like. And I did my and I did my preferences. 
customized look and feel. When I got to it in the widget, you can either select ambience or radiance. Make sure you select the one that has LXDE in it and just hit apply. Now, but you also have icons that you, you can change it to. Uh, humanity comes with Ubuntu, which is what uh, Unity Ubuntu uses. Then the window of border, you can either choose Radiance or the Ambience. Again, make sure you choose the one that has the LXDE in it. And that's all I had to take care of when I did the customized look and feel. And this is what you end up with. One of the neat things I like about this theme is when it is like this and you have the top menu, it almost gives you that Ubuntu feel, having the top menu with LXDE. Oh yeah, don't forget to find the wallpaper you like as well. This is the one I chose off the internet too. The reason I chose to use Docky is because you, you get to dock your icons here. So like I can choose LX Terminal and open it, but I also can undock it just by pulling the icon off and letting it go. And as you can see, when you open and close the items on the docky, it doesn't take up an extra space like you would with the panel. And to put my LX terminal back, I just need to go to my accessories. just start it up and then right click it and pin the dock. Now I can move any place I want to on the dock. So there you go. My Ubuntu with a Unity look and feel. Thank you.